Okay, I am recording. Now we'll show you how Rustop works. I think that this is the most functional thing to do. All right, uh, so once you open the uh, exe, exe file, you are able to open a specific um, PDB files that you have previously downloaded. For example, this one, let's open. Here you can see the protein. In this case, we have a transmembrane protein and uh, we know that these are the transmembranes. What we can do is these. So by the uh, left click, you can easily um, play with the protein in order to orient it in the most functional way. And you can zoom in and out using uh, the uh, roll of the mouse and keeping a control pressed. And uh, uh, with this button, select all, all the amino acids of the proteins will be selected. And you can choose, for example, how to show them in a trace, otherwise uh, ribbons in this way. And uh, one thing that uh, you can do uh, is also changing uh, the color, for example, by clicking on this button. And uh, you can choose the color of the atoms. In this case, uh, it means about uh, with atoms, the uh, lateral <clears throat> Uh, chain of uh, uh, each specific amino acid that, uh, for example, in this case, uh, all the atoms are going to be um, are going to be red. But if you select a ribbon, only the ribbons are going to be red, while the atoms in this case uh, are going are, are to be with a different color, where the atom stay red. For example, I want the atom blue or the ribbons blue. Uh, here, ribbons is selected, so the ribbons will be blue. If I want the atom with a different color, I can change the color of the atom. You can see, for example, I want the atoms, so the, the lateral chain, I want them a yellow. And I want the ribbon with a different color, I want the ribbon pink. Okay, so as long as all the amino acids are selected, this is what is going to happen. Okay, so let's make, uh, I don't know, the ribbon. Uh, um, silver, that's it. Okay, we have the ribbon silver. Okay, now let's do something. We have to select specific amino acids. And uh, I don't know, we know that methionine is uh, the first one, methionine one, okay. We add it, rather with this uh, or with this, uh, since it is a new selection, I would write this one. And then when we press into this uh, button that show the selection, you see the first amino acid, Methionine, in this case, is indicated with a different color. And you can see that this is the methionine of the um, polypeptide sequence, right? All right. Um, to move left and right uh, this uh, uh, entire polypeptide sequence, uh, uh, this entire folded polypeptide sequence, I'm using the right click of the mouse, okay? All right, so this is uh, the methionine. To select a specific amino acid, so it depends, for example, for the protein, you know that this protein, in this case, uh, is uh, uh, provided with some critical uh, residues that they want to highlight. For example, pronin 461. So what uh, I do, I do like this, methionine one, pronin 461, 461, and rather than adding this one, then pressing this one, I press this one, and you see that the protein appears over here. So it's a co-selected. At the same time, I want also another amino acid like aspartate 479. Okay, so I press here, ASP 479. For example, I add uh, the uh, aspartate. I did a mistake because I had this one, I just, or otherwise I just press uh, um, enter, and uh, it uh, uh, removed the other ones and selected only this. Instead, if uh, I press this one, the second one, add to current selection, aspartate 479, uh, and I wanted a proline 461, for example. Well, I do proline 461. I add to the selection and I have, you see, proline and aspartate together. Then I want uh, another one. The other one I want uh, is uh, proline for, uh, 507, okay? So I press this, 
the arrow, five zero seven. I add this. Okay, you see another amino acid. The amino acid residue is highlighted. Well, then I want the methionine five hundred ten. Well, I do like this. I press this one. MET, uh, five. Uh, which one? Sorry, it was uh, five hundred ten. Okay, five hundred ten. Five one zero. I add it, voila. And here we have all the four amino acids selected, okay? The amino acids are selected. I go back by pressing this button to the uh, uh, to the, the ribbon uh, structure. And of course, I don't see them, okay? Well, if I want to see them, to highlight them somehow, I have to uh, go on uh, uh, this uh, uh, section ribbon in this case uh, they are uh, uh, all um, selected and i can just press one color and you see the amino acid residue that appear with a different color i don't know i don't want them red i want them blue i want them yellow i want them pink whatever i choose since these amino acids are selected now are the ones that are going to show up i don't want them in ribbon I want them, uh, I don't know, in a trace. You see, they change shape. They are in trace. Let's keep them in a ribbon at the moment, okay? I just want to highlight them. Another thing that I can do is uh, maybe to make them in sphere. You see? You see that they become sphere. Sphere, what does the sphere highlight? The sphere highlight the uh, lateral chains of uh, these uh, uh, particular amino acids, okay? And uh, otherwise, uh, I don't want the spheres, so I press this one that remove them and uh, brings them back uh, to uh, nothing in this case. So I can cope by using, uh, uh, for example, ball and sticks, otherwise using sticks, for example. And uh, I can play with this kind of approach in order to be able to see the uh, amino acid residue and their um, lateral chains. So this is the way to do it. And then, of course, I can, um, I can uh, adjust the polypeptide, uh, um, the folded polypeptide uh, structure as much as I want. Then, for example, I want to change the background. Let's make the background white. And it's common also to use, uh, for example, very uh, bright uh, uh, silver ribbons. I don't know, so we can do something like this, adjusting the colors, for example, so to make them more ev evident. And uh, yeah, let's use uh, uh, let's use uh, red, for example, for our ribbons, and uh, let's use uh, red for uh, also the atoms. In this case, yeah. Um, I have to select atoms because the uh, amino acid residues that are selected have been selected with uh, these uh, different systems, okay? Uh, it's also possible to use, uh, to select specific amino acids. Uh, I don't know. I can uh, highlight all the aspartates, all the arginines. Otherwise, uh, yeah, there are more complicated options also for uh, uh, sulfate, phosphates, and otherwise I can highlight the amino acids based on their uh, properties. And uh, yeah, this is a, a very basic way. I'm not expert in Rastop, but just for an internal um, consultants with some colleagues, I decided to make this short video in order to be able to show how to uh, highlight some specific amino acids of this protein. Well, uh, uh, I would. Um, mm, use it in this way. Uh, for example, exactly with the same approach, it's possible, for example, to use top cons to know the transmembrane domain of this protein and highlight the amino acids of the transmembrane domain, at least to know if I want to uh, extract this structure and use it, uh, for example, for uh, a figure of my paper where it starts and ends the transmembrane domain. Uh, so um, by this, I can have at least an idea to um, indicate uh, in the figure where the plasma membrane stay, for example, for this protein, since it's a protein of the plasma membrane. And uh, yeah, so this is uh, the way I would do. Uh, yeah, why not? I would keep the atom white, otherwise I would keep the atom red. It depends, it depends from 
from my choice. Uh, um, I would recommend to first make a presetting for the whole uh, backbone, <clears throat> let's say for the whole protein, and then to select precise settings for the amino acid of interest that we want to highlight, okay? Well, um, it's also possible, an important thing, an important thing also, is uh, this one. Uh, if I go on atom and I go on label and I go on a residue, it displays the residues, okay? This may be very useful. For example, my tionine 510, uh, proline 507, aspartate 479, and uh, proline 461, okay? This is important. Uh, if otherwise I do labels uh, and uh, I do formats, I can decide how big I can write these uh, uh, residues. For example, I don't know, 12, and you can see that the letters are becoming bigger. I can also change <clears throat> uh, labels, the color of the labels. I don't know, I can make it blue, for example. This is how it should work. I don't recommend to um, print uh, this image and then to uh, use it uh, with the names uh, that you have inserted in Rustop because the quality is going to be very bad. Uh, I would rather recommend uh, to simply do like this, label and uh, remove the label and uh, print this out. It's possible to print it in PDF and uh, you see PDF creator. And with PDF creator, you can uh, open your PDF and then open it with uh, uh, Affinity Design, Adobe Illustrator or any sort of uh, um, editing uh, mm, software that may be more comfortable. This is the way I would uh, use Rustop for uh, these specific mm, tasks that I have discussed with my colleagues. Uh, I don't know, maybe we'll put this video on YouTube. Let's see what happens. Let's see uh, how it looks and how I look in the video because I, I'm not handsome at all in such a circumstance. <laughs> well, Thank you very much. I hope it's useful. Any, uh, ah, oh, yeah, there are also other interesting things. Uh, yeah, but I mean, maybe useful or not. Yes, I, I already showed you that uh, it's possible to select these uh, kind of things to change the uh, structures of, yes, so this is something I already showed you before. All right. Thanks. Uh, thank you for, thank you very much. I think, I think that the most important stuff to, uh, yeah, to highlight about this software have been done. All right, stop share and